cyclone Mocha weakened at sea, poses a reduced risk for Bangladesh as it crosses coastal areas. Electoral system will not change, says Obadul Kader. Attempts to mislead the nation as a feeling case against Zia Rahman, claims Mirza Fakhrul. And the Gadipur City Corporation election candidates pass a busy time voting voters, presenting various pledges of urban development. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fouza Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Cyclone Mocha weakened at sea and poses reduced risk for Bangladesh as it crosses coastal areas, says the Meteorological Department. The cyclone has already passed the Cox's Bazar North Myanmar subzone. After 1 p.m., the cyclone began to make landfall in St. Martin's Island. According to the Department of Meteorology, Cyclone Mocha has hit Myanmar. However, there is a possibility of heavy rainfall due to the cyclone. In subtropical districts, there is a possibility of inundation up to 5 feet above normal. Cox's Buzzer support has been asked to hoist distress signal number 10. Meanwhile, Cox Buzzer coastal region were shown distress signal number 10. Pyra and the Chattogram shown signal number 8. And Mongla Sipos were shown cautionary signal number 4 by the Meteorological Department of Bangladesh. A Vamilig is not a morning dew drop on the lips, but all the ill efforts and the tricks of BNP will be prevented with the people, says Avamilik General Secretary Obaidul Kader. He said this at a meeting of the Central Committee's additional board at the Dharmundi Political Office of the Vamilik President today. Kader said, having failed in the movement, BNP is now trying to cover up its failure by raising their voices. Avamili General Secretary Obadul Kader also called on BNP to get rid of the hope and a misconception that the Bangladesh's election system will be changed at the will of foreigners. The case against Zia Rahman was motivated by political motives after 47 years, says BNP General Secretary Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alumgir. He said this at a press conference at Khaled Zia's office in Gulshan today. He also commented that they are trying to mislead the nation by failing a case against Zia Rahman when there is a pressure on the government to conduct elections under a neutral government. In the press conference, the BNP Secretary General directed the leaders and the workers at all levels of the party to stand by the people by presenting the picture of cyclone. BNP Secretary General urged the government to stand by the people of the country without potting. A stand action will be taken against anyone who commits any kind of irregularities and manipulation in the sale of TCB products, says Kamas Minister Tipu Munshi. He gave this warning while inaugurating the sale of TCB products for the month of May at Merul Badda in the capital today. The Commerce Minister said that 1 crore families will be given daily necessities to about 3,000 dealers. The choice holder can purchase a maximum of 2 litres of soybean well, 2 kg of lentils and 1 kg of sugar. However, the price of sugar has been increased by Taka 10 and the new price has been fixed at Taka 70. The Commerce Minister also said that the price of sugar has increased due to the increase in import costs. Candidates for Gajipur City Corporation election are busy campaigning. Ahead of the Gajipur City Corporation elections, the candidates are seeking votes with meetings, marches and miking in the neighborhoods till midnight. Candidates are voting voters in their constituencies every day. However, the voters accept that a qualified candidate will be elected. On the other hand, Amzad Ullah Khan, the candidate of a vote, complained after the campaign other candidates are breaking the code of conduct. Meanwhile, many other mayoral candidates are making various pledges of development by exchanging plus charges with the voters.
Mothers and their children are celebrating International Mother's Day today by showing each other love and affection in Bangladesh as well as other parts of the world. Founded in the first decade of 1900 by American woman activist Anna Zervis, the day was inspired by the nation that mother is the person who has done more for you than anyone in the world. Mother's Day is now a recognized holiday celebrated by billions of people all over the world. People are celebrating Mother's Day today in Bangladesh and throughout the world through presenting their mother's gifts as a way of showing their appreciation for always being there, writing heartfelt letters to their mothers and cooking their mother's favorite dishes to mark the happy occasion. Viewers are now international news. Presidential and parliamentary elections are being held today in Turkey, the most influential country in the Muslim world. Voting started at 8 a.m. local time and will continue till 5 p.m. And in this election, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is going to face a big test. This powerful leader has been in power for 20 consecutive years. This election is going to be the biggest fight of Turkey's powerful President Erdogan in his political life. Because this time, all the opposition parties of Turkey have have united to face him. Meanwhile, President Erdogan's main challenger, Kemal Kocharulu, said he wanted to restore peace and democracy. <laughs> Voting has begun in Thailand's general election. Today, the daughter of Austin former Prime Minister Taskin Shanawatra of a Southeast Asian country is leading in this election. The election is being described as a turning point for a country that has experienced a dozen military cops in recent history. Earlier, Prime Minister Priyaut Chan Ocha, the army general who led the last military coup in 2014, is vying for another term in Sunday's election. Thailand's leading prime ministerial candidate, Penthan Thern Senawatra, is said to be in a strong position in this election. He hopes to return to power in the Southeast Asian nation after father Taskin Shinawatra and aunt Yang Clark as election heavyweight candidates. At least 33 people have been killed by gunmen in the West African country of Burkina Faso. This incident took place in a village in the Mohana province of the country, said the provincial governor. The attackers opened fire on a group of farmers at around 5 p.m. local time on Thursday. Governor Babu Pierre Basinga said in a statement, a crowdly and a barbaric terrorist attack took place in Yolo village of a Cherubia division in Amon province. The government targeted innocent civilians who were farming on the banks of the river. At that time, he mentioned that the death toll was 33 people. According to local sources, heavily armed men in motorcycles fired indiscriminately at the farmers. We are about to die into the headlines once again. Cyclone Mocha weakened at sea poses reduced risk for Bangladesh as it crosses the coastal areas. Electoral system will not change, says Obadul Kader. Attempts to mislead the nation as a failing case against Zia Rahman claims Mirza Fakul. Gajipur City Corporation election candidates pass a busy time weighing voters, presenting various pages of urban development. <laughs> Biggest fight for Erdogan underway as a presidential election in Turkey, Petr Gorasia was the head in Thailand general election. <laughs> and PSG Hammers Ajasio as Lionel Messi received a mixed reception on his return from suspension in the French League. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT news. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.